And here is the finished product of the bike. It works beautifully. Very easy to use. Oh, forgot to turn that off. Whoops. It's got a nice, uh, nice, nice little beep a horn on it, so you can warn people. So this is the finished product, guys. So I'm actually pretty happy with it. It was a little bit of a pain in the neck, but as you can see, everything's pretty much where it's supposed to be. Look at that. It's got a 350 volt motor. Look at that bad boy. This thing, and I did a test on this bad boy. Oh, this thing giddies up. So I'm looking forward to riding this. Yeah, it is a little expensive, but you know what? I need transportation to get around a little faster. So I figured this would be the perfect solution. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't get it up for that. <laughs> right here, you got the nice battery pack right here. Very easy to come on, come off. Uh, it's probably like the circuit board where all the stuff, you know. Oh, the cool thing is, watch this. Hold on, I gotta turn it on here. It's got it's got a front front light. Turn it on right now. There you go. And you can just press the button, it comes off. You, you press, shuts it off, it shuts the battery off. Sorry, I can't. <laughs> well, yeah, it was pretty easy to assemble this bad boy, you know. You gotta have to do a little adjusting, but. This is actually the very first um, uh, electric bike I've ever owned. Uh, it's got actually five star reviews uh, from Walmart. This is where I got it from. Um, it's about five reviews on it, five star rating on it. People are pretty happy with it. So, brakes are solid on this thing. Like, oh, you see that? It ain't going nowhere. Yeah, it takes a little bit to slow it down, but once it gets slowed down, you're, you're, you're in good shape. But there, um, there is the regulation for these. In my state, anyway, it's probably the same anywhere. Uh, maximum speed is about 20 miles per hour. Uh, that which is, you know, uh, the only thing that they require you is to wear a helmet when you're riding this, and that's about it. But look, nice tires, beautiful. I might just take this, uh, this front fender off. I don't really like. Well, as you can see here, I don't know if, you know, it's supposed to go here, but, uh, it seems to be a screw that's supposed to go there, but I, 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 I looked all over in the package, the box that it came in, I couldn't find the bolt anywhere, so, I might just take the front one off, and then, uh, sorry about that, I actually pressed the button. <laughs> I might just keep the back one on because it looks pretty cool in the back. Uh, yeah, it looks that looks really nice. But uh, yeah, like I said, there's no there's no regulation on these. Um, I looked it up. As long as it doesn't exceed over 20 miles per hour, you can pretty much go anywhere you want with them. As long as you have the proper safety helmet on, you know, whatever. This thing's a beaut. For all the money I paid for this thing, I would hope so. <laughs> and it's absolutely gorgeous. The only thing, only downfall I don't like about it is it doesn't have like a port where you can charge your phone in and stuff like that. But that's about it. I mean, that's not, that's not a big issue, but that's the only issue I had have with it. So this is the fittest product. Hope you guys like it. I mean, these brakes are just solid. Look at that. You're not, you're not, you're not going nowhere. <laughs> it, it will take a little time for it to stop, but, but you could do. It's, it's got a pretty, pretty, pretty awesome braking system on it. It's absolutely, absolutely awesome. So there's the motor again. Beautiful, beautiful craftsmanship. 
I think it's a 350 watt motor, which is regulation uh, here in the state of Massachusetts. So, uh, I put some air in the tires. They're good to go. I did put too, too much. I put about 28 pounds, uh, 28 pounds of air in it. I didn't want to go too overboard because I didn't want to pop the tube in it. Because, and if you are going to get one of these, I highly recommend that you get the four-year protection plan with it. Um, it's, it, it costs about $77, so a total it costs us $796 plus tax, which is, you know, tax of Massachusetts, you know. But anyway, uh, it was just a $45 tax, which is quite a lot, but hey. I would definitely recommend getting a, uh, like a protection plan so if something were to happen to it, you could go and get it serviced and then you, you'll be covered for the next four years anyway. So I highly recommend you do that. I mean, these will actually a little bit of pain in the neck to get on, but then I figured it out. You know, like I always do, you always look at the stuff and you eventually figure it out. But Breaking on this is pretty awesome. It's solid as a rock. You could do a hard stop and it would just stop immediately. Oh, excuse me. So, hope you guys enjoyed and liked this video. <laughs> excuse me. I just think I'd give you the finished product here. I pro I'm probably going to take this off too because it keeps wobbling. You know, it keeps going up and down. You know, this thing here. I might have to figure out that at a later time so I'll probably just take that off in the front fender I think it'll look cooler without it you know so that's the final product yeah it cost me a pretty penny but you know what it's well worth it this thing uh, I did a little test not on the carpet obviously but um I lifted it up to see how powerful it is and this thing is powerful <laughs> I, I just can't wait. Uh, it's a seven speed. Hold on. Before we go. Oh, sorry guys. It has a seven speed. This is where you accelerate. And this is the throttle right here. Just do that. It's going to take me a little bit getting used to this thing because I've never drove one of these before in my life. I had the 33 years I've been on this earth. But yeah, it looks pretty nice other than that. Absolutely beautiful, guys. So anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button notification bell so you know I do awesome videos. And who knows? It might be another unboxing. Who knows? But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a very, very good day. Remember, you guys are unique, you're beautiful, you're awesome, and don't let anybody tell you different. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.